In this video, I'll teach you the foraminas of the skull using mnemonics and art. We'll focus on the middle cranial fossa. Know that we have a big list of cranial nerves, right? Now, how do you remember the first one? Cranial nerve number one, olfactory. Olfactory is relating to the nose and we have one nose. So cranial nerve number one is olfactory. How do you remember the optic nerve is number two? Well, we have two eyes. So cranial nerve number two is optic nerve. Now this optic nerve, it passes through a canal called the optic canal. And this optic canal has two contents, optic nerve and the ophthalmic artery. Now how do you remember this? Well, I have a mnemonic for you. I met an ophthalmologist at the optical shop. So ophthalmologist can remind you of ophthalmic artery and optical shop for optical nerve. So how do you remember foramen rotundum? Rotundum means a round. Round. But let's draw a maxilla now. How does a maxilla look like? Maxilla is semi-round. So this will help you remember that rotundum is round and maxilla is semi-round and rotundum foramen rotundum has the V the, the 5 2 that is maxillary division of the trigeminal nerve the next foramina is the foramen ovale ovale oval shaped it rhymes with the word male and male is a mnemonic to remember the contents that passes through ovale. Now, how do you draw a mandible? Usually you draw a mandible like this and if you look closely, it looks like two ovals placed next to each other. So, ovale, mandible, male. Alright, now we need to know what this male stands for. Now, what does male stands for? M, mandibular division of trigeminal nerve, 5-3. A, accessory meningeal. L, lesser petrosal. E, emissary vein. So, the mnemonic for foramen ovale is, hey look, it's a male with an oval shaped mandible. Now, for foramen spinosum, you have to remember spines or spicules. You draw it like this, mountains, right? So if you look closely, this looks like the letter M. So M, that's the mnemonic, M and M. So middle meningeal artery passes through foramen spinosum. Foramen blasterum contains greater protrusal nerve. Now, how do you remember that? Well, this is a mnemonic. The great hike in petrol left my wallet lacerated. Now, lacerated means torn. So, it left a hole in my wallet. It tore my wallet. Yes. And great, the word great will remind you of greater and petrol for petrosal. So, the mnemonic is the great hike in petrol left my wallet lacerated. This should remind you that the foramen serum contains greater petrosal nerve. Next is the carotid canal. Just like the name. It's a canal for the carotid. So, where is the carotid? It's inside. So, internal carotid artery passes through the carotid canal. Next is internal acoustic meatus or internal auditory canal. Acoustic, auditory, it's all related to the ear or sound, right? The contents are 7 and 8 cranial nerve. Internal acoustic meatus has 7 and 8 cranial nerve. Now let's draw a picture of a girl. She has an ear and draw earrings for her. Now this looks like the number 8, doesn't it? So 8 looks like an ear with earrings. So that's 8. You can remember it like that. And internal acoustic meatus or internal auditory canal. So let's draw a canal. I'm drawing a canal through which the nerves can pass. So if you look sideways, this looks like the number 7. 7. Right? So, 7 and 8. This is how you can remember. Internal acoustic meatus. Next is a jugular foramen. So, J 
jugular foramen when you write it's j u g jug jug contains a lot of stuff so jugular foramen contains a lot of nerves so let's look at it 9 10 11 nerves and internal jugular vein so how do you remember what goes through jugular foramen see these are the roman letters here if you notice 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. From 9, 10, 11, from 9th, the letter X comes in. So we need to remember when does the letter X come in Roman numeral? It is from 9th. So we are only giving them, so we are giving them ranks, okay? Like first rank, second rank and third rank. Fourth rank doesn't matter, so only the even in our class we get first, second, and third. So we're only taking these three into consideration. So jugular foramen has 9, 10, and 11th cranial nerves. Along with that, since it has the name jugular, you need something related to that, right? So internal jugular vein also passes through the jugular foramen. Next is the hypoglossal canal. Now, hypoglossal, how do you remember it? Now you see, after once the child reaches 12th standard, the parents, the teachers, students, they all get really tensed. And because the exam is really hyped up, right? Hyped up, hypoglossal. So you can remember the nerve, hypoglossal is 12. Next is the foramen magnum. Just remember the word middle. Anything related to the middle is magnum. So the brainstem, vertebral artery which passes through the vertebra so all these are in the middle of the body so foramen magnum just remember something in the middle so brain stem that is the medulla and vertebral arteries next is the superior orbital fissure so this is a small fissure in the orbit this is the orbit this is a fissure in the orbit and we're going to zoom in zoom in to this fissure okay let's zoom in I'm just drawing it a little more bigger all right we are dividing it into three parts so this becomes the lateral this is the middle and this is the medial now for lateral you need to remember the letters L F T for medial N O A medial is very uh, precious place it's secured it's like these two are bodyguards for this queen so no one's allowed inside no n o not allowed n o a and here it is l f t so let's first look at n o a so this is n o a n stands for nasociliary o for ocul ocular motor which is cranial nerve number three and Last one, A is abducens, cranial nerve number 6. Alright, so we know that, we know 3 and 6, but what about nasociliary? Well, if this is the trigeminal ganglion, it has, trigeminal is cranial nerve number 5. So it has branches, 5, 1, Roman, Roman letters, 5, 1, 5, 2, and 5, 3. Now, 5, 1 is ophthalmic, 5, 2, maxillary. Remember, rotunda maxilla, yes, and 5-3 is mandibular, ovale, mandible, yes. So, ophthalmic, this 5-1 is further divided into frontal, nasociliary, and lacrimal. All right. So, now we are talking about nasociliary. F and this L will come in the lateral portion. We have, we have remember we wrote LFT there, right? So that will come L and F will come there. Now we are talking about nasociliary. All right, so that is done. We now know where is what is nasociliary. How did it get there? Now let's look at the lateral part. Lateral was LFT. How come it is on the lateral side? Well, if we draw an eye. It has muscles, one muscle here, 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 and here. They're all perpendicular, but there's one muscle which is obliquely placed, and that is a superior oblique. Because it is superiorly and obliquely placed, it's called superior oblique. So this is the SO, superior oblique muscle. Now this muscle 
is hooked around by a long nerve called the trochlea. It is the longest and the thinnest nerve. It hooks around this muscle. All right. So this is number four or the trochlea. So we learned LFT. You're learning the T now. All right. So you can also imagine this trochlea this way. So you've seen a well, right? This is a well and there's a pulley here. And we use a rope to draw water using a bucket, right, to fetch the water. So imagine this pulley to be the muscle superior oblique. And this long rope will be the long nerve which we learned about. That is a trochlear, fourth nerve, trochlear nerve. This will be an easy way to remember. All right. So since it's on the lateral side, because uh, we saw that the muscles, we saw all the four muscles here, which is perpendicular, but just this one muscle was superiorly and obliquely placed. So it is lateral, it's closer to the ear, right? It's closer to the ear. This is closer to the ear. So it is on the lateral side. All right. So that is done. Next is frontal. You can just remember that all these that we are talking about is on the frontal part of the face, front of the face. So frontal is also done and L, L for lacrimal. Now lacrimal gland, if you draw a face, eyes and eyebrows, lacrimal gland comes somewhere here. So this is also on the lateral part. All right, so this is how you remember L, F, and T. Now, I drew this superior orbital fissure like this, right? Now, if, and I divide it into three parts. Now, if I draw a square and divide it right through the middle, this becomes a superior part and this becomes an inferior part, right? So, additionally to what I've mentioned, like LFT, NOA, there are two more veins. There is a superior ophthalmic vein here and an inferior ophthalmic vein here. Now, this is the medial part. This is the middle, this is the lateral, and this is the medial. All right, so it's closer to the nose. And there are some other, um, other nerves here, which we'll talk about later. I hope you enjoyed the video so don't forget to like, share and subscribe and click the bell icon to keep yourselves notified every time I upload a new video. If you have any doubts, please contact me at the email given in the description. Thank you. Bye.